Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO's US content. Today's video, we're going to discuss the top PvP teams and heroes as of February 21, 2021. But before that, if you want updated EXO's US content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, so we're going to start with the top tier heroes in PvP. So what happened last February 7, 2021? So this is actually the rankings in terms of the top 10. So if you can see here, um, Lenombe has actually come around and actually dominated the, what they call this, the top five at least. And once when, you've, once when you have seen this week's top heroes in PvP as of February 21. So take note guys, this is just for the Asian server for, for the top 50 teams. So basically right now, if you can see, there hasn't been a change that much in the top top four or top three so basically again this just says that um lenombe has dominated pvp um especially with the with the addition of fc zeon and also tantalo has climbed as well in the top five so for top one you have their iris at 50 percent Take note that Iris's um, usage rate has dropped. So it used to be higher than 50%. So she's now at 50%. And a close second and third would be April and Rachel with 48%. So teams have been have begun to do away with Iris in terms of PvP and replaced her more with more firepower as well. So for your fourth, you have FC Zeon with 32%. So he gains a plus plus three in the standings for your fifth you have their tantalo at 30 percent so he also gains a plus three both wasted red garf and uh, fc redly went down so garf went down a spot at 28 uh, percent usage for number six fc redly also went down at 26 percent uh, he went down by one spot now at seventh battery also took took a hit with uh, a minus four she lands now at number eight and if you notice rara is not actually not again in the top 10 she, she's been absent as well so for your 9 10 11 i could not leave one out because the three of them have the same percentage of 24 percent but annie actually gained one spot from number 10 before to ninth right now at 24 percent Shell and Jinai actually is actually climbing up the what they call this climbing up the the top 10 because they're at 10 and 11. Sorry, it's a top 11 now because both of them are at 24 percent usage as of uh February 21. Okay, so this picture says it all. So the dominance of the Nombe for now is actually visible here. And the other teams are just catching up. So FC Iris's dominance actually as the top um, hero is actually slipping down because teams are realizing that they can actually do without FC Iris in PvP. Okay, so let's move to... These are the top tier teams in PvP. This is as of February 7 again, 2021. So basically, these were the teams that are top. But if you can see um, in our next uh, next screen that the difference is um, FC Iris Dorka and FC Shufrak and Valentina, FC Bathory team, actually was around, uh, they ranked fifth before, okay? In the previous month, they were fifth with in terms of usage. Now they are first with six teams using them. So take note that this team actually, although they don't have that much top heroes, they are solid and they have been used that much. So Lenombe is a story with Lenombe all over the place with different uh, mix and matches with other teams. But if you base it on team only, um, you have here the top team, which is North Von Frosty with a flash uh, with a a what a splash of battery and um yeah dorka dorka is here as well so for your second top team which is fc iris fc april rachel baraka and zeon 
they were fourth last month. Now they're in number two with five usage. And in terms of um, the third, so you have Iris, FC Rachel, FC April, FC Boris, FC Zion. So the only, um, the only, uh, the only hero here that was um, swapped out uh, from Baraka to Morris. So this team, this one, the third one, actually with four usage, was top last month. So it topped the standings in terms of top teams in PvP. Again, these teams or these rankings based on the Asian server, the top 50 teams as of February 21. So if you want to see the, the other eight teams that I mentioned here, especially here at three usage and at two usage, I will post them down in the comment section below for you to look at. So let's put let's let's proceed to just a summary of my final thoughts for for this um for this top tier teams and heroes so basically the usage of of talia also drops i forgot to mention that earlier you you didn't see talia in the top 10 hero so basically uh players have you know have learned on how to deal with talia already um with fc ramji um and you know try to try to time um, on how to kill Talia um, has been actually, I think, very key in her dropping in usage. Um, but I think it's more or less um, on, on the usage as well for Ramji. So out of the top 10 heroes. Um, out of the top 10 heroes as well is... Who was that one? Um, Dorka is out of the top 10, but her team actually shines with north one frosty so number two is lenombe is king right now so there are a lot of there have been a lot of um team comps that use lenombe not necessarily um the full lenombe team but usually some of the teams would would splash in april and fc rachel um together with their other team comps so top teams are usually going for mostly for Lenombe build or Lenombe heroes, okay? So North Burn Frosty again remains solid. So it's proof that last week's um, rise in in Lenombe, in sorry in North Von Frosty usage was not a fluke because I also thought it was a fluke, but fortunately it's not. They're here to stay and they have really proved their worth um, since they started dominating PvP back when the day was still starting, okay? So it remains solid, limited team composition. So basically, the only team comp that you see with Northbound Frosty is the standard Shufraken, Valentina, Iris, uh, Bathory, and Dorka. So basically, that's it. Also, again, if you note that the usage of FE Iris has dropped, because they have, you know, learned that they can survive without FC Iris, even though um, there are first dra uh, first uh, guardians in the in in other lineups, and also this number five is frequent add-ons. I've noticed that there are uh, there are two pairs of heroes that have been splashed onto other teams. Notably, you have Talia. Uh, sorry, notably you have Shell and Jinai being splashed onto Wasted Red, which is Garf, Rudley, and Annie. So that is actually um, one of the teams that you should watch out. And the other one for Linombe, um, FC, FC April and FC, FC April and FC Rachel has been splashed to Team Greenland, which includes uh, Tantalo, Rera, and Bathory as well. So take note that um, these teams actually, you know, if you want to build these teams as a splash to your current team, they're actually good. They can be very useful only, even only as a pair. So more or less, that is it for the top uh, PvP teams and heroes as of February 21. So basically, guys, if you have any comments, write it down below. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, this helps my channel a lot. Anyway, guys, you always take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out.